Euro-Egyptian Partnership for Physics Teaching Reform in Egypt, ET Reform, is an EU project under the Tempus program. Five universities are participating in the project. American University of Cairo, Benny Swaif University, Helwan University, the University of Copenhagen and the RWTH Aachen University, Germany. Teaching physics in Egyptian classrooms does not go much beyond the blackboard's dimensions. There is a huge lack of physics demonstrations in most, if not all, of the Egyptian universities. Such demonstrations are quick experiments that can be done in the classroom, where students can participate in science directly. The first step was to establish the first Egyptian center for building and affordable physics demonstrations. In two years, the center built more than 150 demonstrations covering different physics areas, such as measurements, mechanics, electricity, magnetism, wave, optics, atomic physics, thermodynamics, fluids, nuclear and modern physics. The center has all the machines that will ensure the sustainability of the project. I used to say it's really wonderful to play while you work. And this is a project that shows that you can really play while you work and study and understand. This is, for me, this is marvelous. A difficulty in teaching physics at Egyptian universities arises from the enduring need to prepare young professors, teaching assistants, as well as pre-college teachers to teach physics effectively and to use demonstrations in their classrooms. After two scoping visits to Egypt and Denmark to assess physics teaching, seven workshops took place presenting an overview of exemplary physics teaching in university and middle to high school settings. Dedicated contribution from University of Copenhagen professors eased the training of more than 150 Egyptian trainees. Demonstrations are the best way to engage students and many of them are easy to produce. But some demonstrations are rarely available for subsequent review. That requires an associated e-learning module. In Aachen, Germany, an e-learning workshop took place in 2008. The Egyptian partners visited Aachen University to be trained in converting their classes into e-learning courses and were taught how to create animations using Flash and Breeze softwares. The team was accompanied by two highly qualified technical staff members to facilitate the training and to explain the technical details. Now we here in Aachen gained more experience, we practice it more and we hope we can give a feedback when I go home. In most universities we have big numbers of students and having uh, e-learning will help a lot of students who will not be able to get all the information in the, in the lecture hall. So, and the chances for face-to-face -face interaction with professor when you have a lot of students is, is not as good as when you have a smaller class. The successful implementation of e-learning systems at the RWTH Aachen, especially at the Academic and Research Department Engineering Hydrology LFI, and the urgent needs for e-learning at Egyptian universities and schools were the motivations of the e-training activities. The academic staff also took an overview about the newest technology used in Aachen. Welcome to our virtual reality lab at uh, RWTH Aachen. The Egyptian academics also had a look at the newest technology used at the section of engineering hydrology LFI. They visited the cave, the virtual reality lab, and showed great interest in the possibilities of this high technology. The strong cooperation between Egyptian and European universities is considered as an indirect project objective. The impact of uh, the Tempest project from the European community on the uh, inter-cultural uh, relations between the countries or the universities which are uh, members of the consortium is very important because uh, being an Egyptian dealing with an Egyptian would not add very much to my culture, would not add very much to my knowledge, would not add very much to my skills. But if I interact with some people from Germany, some people from Denmark, and maybe if while other members of the consortium from other universities, from other countries, that would help very much. The newly established PC labs at Barney Swave University, Helwan University and American University of Cairo improve the needed IT and presentation skills for the trainees. During the project lifetime, the teaching assistants, professors and pre-college teachers of the Egyptian universities and schools were trained by the academics and specialists from University of Aachen and the Science Education Department of the University of Copenhagen. Before the end of the project, the program was handed over to Egyptian partners to train new target groups. 
Sustainability is guaranteed thanks to the Egyptian Center for Building and Affordable Physics demonstrations. So the, the growth of the demonstration number is not going to die or is not going to stop by the end of the project. It's going to continue by having those machine shop in, uh, the, in the physics department here at the American University in Cairo. The project members experienced and analyzed a hands-on inquiry lecture using inexpensive materials. They will learn to adapt the template for inquiry demonstrations from the first workshop to hands-on inquiry during lectures and then create such an inquiry with given material and try it out on other participants. Students and scholars can collectively observe, model, predict and observe again. This is why many physics faculties and schools worldwide use so many demonstrations. I found that these kind of, you know, basically trying to be engaged, the engagement in doing learning cycle and inquiry-based inquiry teaching is the best form of teaching. The Egyptian Minister for Education highlighted the importance of quality education for Egyptian educational institutions to offer the same standard as international peers and to be able to survive in today's highly competitive and fast-developing world. Actually, it is the teacher that can affect the change. So we will do whatever it takes to make them teach better and so we expect at, as a result of that, a better uh, educational outcome from our uh, young population at schools. Professors, students and lab engineers carried out nine outreach events for school students and schools teachers. Those events took place in the Egyptian universities as well as in schools. The schools are public and private schools. The experience of university students teaching school students is one of many achievements of this project. It was very interesting, actually, and I learned a lot and about pressure and physics. What was the what was your most favorite demonstration? I actually like the nail bed one because it was actually show you that you can't get hurt even if there is something that hurts. More than 1,000 students have attended those outreach events. The indirect groups are the professors of Egyptian universities as well as teaching assistants, school teachers, and school students. From our point of view, what we are really about is not only educated individual students, which is important to us, it is our mission as a university, but also being a, a vehicle for institutional reform and for thinking about how institutions, whether they're universities or um, elementary schools or secondary schools, any kind of educational institution has to be preparing its students for the 21st century. The success of ET reform will encourage other schools and universities to move towards better teaching methodologies like inquiry-based teaching and the integration of e-learning into science education. This means enhancing the education process and in turn the qualification of graduates. I think Tempest in Egypt has proved to be one of the most successful stories in, in Egypt and in uh, uh, the European Commission practice. But to, to keep the Egyptian uh, society and the Egyptian, the acad Egyptian academia on the top, they have to uh, uh, put much more effort and much more uh, uh, dynamism. And I'm sure that they are capable of doing it as they have done in other fields. As you can see, this is another story of success in the Egyptian effort to improve the skills and competencies of the generation to come. Many thanks to the European Commission for financing this project.